Hi, this is Stephen from TechSteveSD.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a faster internet connection to your home just by changing your hardware. First of all, I live in an area where I was getting 20 megabits per second download and 2 megabits upload, and that's pretty much what I'm paying for. Uh, but I do have a lot of devices. I literally have about like eight devices that connects to the internet in some form or shape. So what I did is I said, okay, how can I make my internet faster without paying more money? So Actually, I did a little research online and I ended up getting a Motorola DOSIS 3 modem and also got a new D-Link uh, router that supports Gigabit. Now, by doing that, uh, calling the cable company, they're actually a faster throughput that they have for the DOSIS 3 modems. Uh, making that phone call, changing that hardware, and now I'm getting up to 30 megabits per second for the same money I'm paying and I'm getting from 2 megabits upload speeds almost 30 and I'll show you some speed tests when I'm done here. So uh, sit back and relax, and uh, let's let me show you some examples of what I what I'm getting. Okay, so like uh, this is how you're gonna save some money and get a faster internet connection. Uh, I bought this equipment a while back, so now the prices have dropped, and you can buy it new or used. So it'll be up to you as far as how you feel about that. Uh, actually, I bought the SB6120 Surfboard uh, DOSIS 3 modem, and the great thing about that, if you notice, it supports 10, 100, and 1,000 based um, lines. So what that means is that most cable modems, when you get it, you have 10 and 100. So if you're actually trying to get faster speeds, then you won't be able to get the, the CAT6 cable or the CAT5E that gives you the, the faster base. And for some reason, even though your internet speed is only up to 26 megabits per second and this even the 100 can actually get that it seems like when I got the new router it actually increased my speed almost up to 10 megabits per second uh, and again that could vary from from city to city so um, and again you see right here it gives you up to four times faster connection to DOSIS 2 and most DOSIS 2 modems are the free stuff that you get or the stuff you rent from the cable company unless you pay for like turbo and um, pay seven or eight dollars a month which the 80 bucks it would never weigh out far as advantage for you so it's better just to go ahead and buy it outright so this is a modem I have and it's pretty basic I mean you can see the, the pictures here you got this guy's right here the back of it's pretty simple it still looks the same as any other router and that's what it looks like lit up there now the the router I'm using is actually the link says here Granted, I know there's much better routers out there, but I have two or three different kinds. And the reason I like this one is because I have an app for my phone and it allows me to connect to my um, router from any location and block people. Also, I can check and see if anybody's actually tapping into my internet as far as uh, my neighbors and things like that. So uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. It's a cylinder. And the great thing I like about it is that it supports the 10. 100 1000 megabits per second so that allows me to again give give me the fastest connection from uh, my router and to my equipment it also has a it's a dual band what that means is that uh, most routers perform at two pointers and that's actually a common way to send data but you don't get as much range but you get faster connection if you do five gigahertz and that's where uh, this router comes in because it's dual band and uh, uh, when I log into my phone, I actually was able to list the regular uh, router and also made an HD login. And for any equipment that supports the 5 uh, gigahertz, then uh, that, that'll actually give you a faster connection in a lot of cases. And as you can see here, a used one can cost you about $65. I think I paid like 100 bucks for it. And, and I've tried a different ones. Like I said, I've, I've spent $200 on routers. I spent, uh, you know, 40 this actually is a really good router for the money and I'm, I'm very happy with it for the for the cost of it now once I got everything plugged in and up and running I called my cable company they switched me over I um, got everything all set up then uh, I was I'm paying for 20 megabits per second on downloads and I'm paying for 2 megabits per second uploads now I'm located in Phoenix right now and I'll show you what kind of speed test I'm getting just by changing my equipment. That's all the thing I, only thing I did. Okay, let's see what kind of speeds we get over here. So I'm gonna begin the test on speedtest.net. And again, I'm paying for 20 down, two up. Let's see what we can get. 
wow look at that 32 download speeds right now and uh, as soon as that gets done let's see what kind of upload speeds I'm getting and the upload speeds come in really handy whenever you're uploading videos to YouTube or if you're Skyping you know how, how good is your photo gonna look or video gonna look uh, to the other people on the other end and you basically have a really really good connection for those type of things and, and granted it fluctuates and uh, let's see compare my connection to some other people here and it looks like I have a grade A connection which is uh, really good for you know amount of money you paid so uh, that's my video on how to increase your internet speeds and if you want to give it a shot and go for it leave comments videos down below and you have a great day